Rusky's Crypto Cave here. Crypto prices were up in November. What did that mean for profitability of this guy? Rusky's Crypto Cave here with my monthly profitability video. Um, I was actually just taking a peek at my portfolio breakdown and uh, what I compared to then to what it is now. Uh, so let's get back into transactions here. And I'll go over some different things as far as um, what changed uh, over the month as far as hardware. Um, there wasn't really any new, new hardware at it um, other than control boards. That's the only thing that really changed uh, around the 10th, 11th, 12th of November, somewhere around there. Um, my Epic control boards came in. Uh, the first one I added was to the S19K Pro, and then I also added one to the S19J Pro Plus. Um, both are 120 terahash models. The Pro Plus, I was running on low power mode around 90, 95 terahash at about 2,500 watts. It's still running around 2,500 watts, but probably closer to 100 terahash now. And the S19K Pro is running at about 27, 2800 watts at 130 terahash. Um, I could probably even crank it up a little bit more because uh, the temps keep dropping. And uh, the cooler those things run, the more efficient they are. And um, then the less heat, for, they don't produce as much heat. And you can crank, crank them full more power and get them uh, increased terahash. But. Um, as far as hardware goes, though, there was no new machines or anything like that added um, for uh, the month of November. I do have um, a KS2 on the way. Um, it has shipped. I'm just waiting it for, it to, for it to arrive. Um, so that will be a change for the month of de December. So once we get to the December profitability video, we'll go over that and how that affected things. Obviously, you get $40, $50 a day. It's going to make a significant difference. Um, some of the other things I did change... The um, is more as far as the spreadsheet goes, uh, which let's go over here to November. I'll go to the different tabs so here. Add another tab for current pricing. Um, I'm doing an API pull from uh, CoinGecko. So these are pretty much all the coins that are in my spreadsheets. Um, Alethium, Bitcoin, Chia, Darrow, Doge, Dynex, Ergo, Alethium, or uh, not Alethium, uh, Ethereum Classic, Ironfish, uh, Kadena, Caspa, Litecoin, the Axa, Octaspace, Pac-Man, which is the coin that you dual mine with Octaspace, um, Presearch for the nodes, um, Radiant, Mining, Reptorium, uh, not really mining anymore, but it's in previous months. I kind of want to go back and um, do updates to all the, the different months, but uh, the only one that's completely finished is the month of November, uh, and we got Bearish Coin, Flux, and Zillica. Um, when you're pulling APIs, from CoinGecko, each coin has their own co coin ID, and it is on um, the coins page because Flux is not Flux; um, it's actually Zellcash because um, that's what Flux originally was and was rebranded. Um, a couple other things like Ironfish is Iron Dash Fish, Ethereum Dash Classic. Um, trying to think of what else there is. Varus Dash Coin, uh, a couple other ones, but I just kind of abbreviated the. And put their tickers as the the, the uh, column headers. And uh, but anyway, this is just pulling. I believe it's every ten minutes it'll do an update and refresh and pull up the current pricing uh, for them. Uh, so if we go back to the oh the other thing I added to was a uh, this is a little sloppy. I want to clean it up, but I basically just exported um, a CSV file from uh, inodes and to get the payouts that I received. Uh, so I basically just tallied up the Payouts there's September, October, November, and then just totaled up what the current value was at the time, and then total amount of coins, and then also a current value of those coins. So just like the 11 bucks that I pulled and earned from the note in uh, September for two weeks, roughly basically, um, was worth 11.50 at the time of being rewarded. Oops, I just tapped the button. Get out of here. Um, was worth about eleven fifty, like I said, at the time of uh, earning them, and now it is worth about twenty bucks for the month of October. Same thing, um, the amount of coins I mined, what it was at the time that I earned them, and then current value as, as of today. And then here's the month of November. 
So it earned about $57 at the time they were paid out. And then, as you can see, the coin prices is what it was each day that these uh, rewards were earned. And especially near the end of the month, had the nice little pump. So it earned about 21,563 Neoxa on inodes for the month of November. Was worth about $57, now currently worth 106. So let's go back into November here now. So we're back to 100%. Let me blow this up for you guys. Um, so I, and I had the, I forget what this extension is, Night Eye extension for Chrome, uh, just to put it in dark mode because Google Sheets doesn't have a dark mode and you need to blind it. So. Um, so the greens and like the colors and stuff don't look exactly like they do in normal, but it is what it is. But anyway, you can go through some of the different payments I've received. Um, as far as the first one I received of the month was on the first, which most of that was probably mine during October technically. But uh, the way I have been doing it all year is logging the transaction. When I receive the payout, I have my pool set to pay me out once I hit 100 flux, and then so. Uh, 1150 in the morning on the first that's when I received that, that payout so that's what we go off of uh, at the current time it was worth about 35 cents currently worth right around 55 cents so a uh, nice little increase there um, octave space also had a nice little pump throughout the month it's 43 cents now it's in 84 cent range uh, Zilliqa most, majority of that was probably in mind in October as well technically but it wasn't paid out until November so that's when we log it um, 1.9 cents. That was only a little bit like a 10% increase, so this is floating around the 2 cent mark now. Uh, Bearish coin had a nice little pump that's more than doubled. So, uh, and here's Neoxa. Um, I believe this was still when I was solo mining. I forget exactly. Yeah, here's a 10,000 payout. So, somewhere in this range is when I switched from, from solo to pool mining. Um, I thought about switching back, but the my ping is still not the greatest. So I don't know what happened, what changed, or something changed with Xfinity or whatever the deal is. But um, my ping basically doubled, so um, my pool luck went to shit. So that's why I switched from solo mining to pool mining. But anyway, um, at the time, the actually was only point two tenths of a cent, and now it's worth four or four and a half tenths of a cent somewhere in there so, it, so that's a more than double and the lithium was another one that had a nice pump um earlier in the month it was 19 cents and it reached 60 65 cents at one point um currently in the 47 cent range ish so um radiant that one doubled as well basically uh, uh octa ergo didn't really do a whole lot it went up a little bit but not not tons i think it's right around a dollar 20 or so now um Actually, you can see exactly where it is. Dollar thirty is where we're at now. So, and uh, another Neoxid payout. So that was probably also a solo mining deal. And then Dynex. Uh, Dynex is about flat. Not really much change. Litecoin didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, Dogecoin. That's about a ten percenter. Uh, Bitcoin couple percent uh casper my first payout it's around the beginning of november is when casper really started to run uh, but this payout didn't hit my wallet until the 16th and it was already at 13 cents currently about 13.6 cents uh what else we got here another dynex payout and as you can see the neoxid payouts i have it set at 10,000. so in every payout i get a 10,000. i'm shipping that right off to inodes and uh, um Stacking it up in there. I currently have 602,000 roughly somewhere in there um, So basically 60% of the way to a uh, master node uh, So I'm just gonna keep on mining and uh, try to get that There was a Raptorian payout. That was probably just paying out what left over I had to pull because I did switch a lot of my rigs over to mine Zephyr um, so That's one thing I did do. Um, I have not received the Zephyr payout yet because I haven't set the payout at one whole Zephyr. And that is getting close. I think I'm around 0.9 right now on Hero Miner. So even though, like some of these, the, the CPUs and the Octominers, I still have them going for, you know, they're only 200 and some hashes. But it didn't really make much of a difference to the, the power rating of the wall. So why not? They're low watt CPUs. They don't use much power anyway. So. 
Uh, let's see, uh, flex payout. So basically, a total of 48 payouts I basically for the month. Yeah, because that starts on line two, goes to 49. So basically, 48 payments I received throughout the month uh, as far as coins. Doing the same thing with Nice Hash um, with my Bitcoin payouts on the 15th. Um, and then 0 0.011. And this one point zero one one seven eight. This would have been a little bit higher, but I did do some easy mining. I spent probably about thirty bucks on some easy mining packages and did not hit shit. So uh, that was a waste of thirty bucks. But whatever, it was worth a shot. Every now and then, I'll do it like once or twice a month. I'll spend ten, fifteen, twenty bucks, or whatever, and uh, just take take a a shot at some. Usually, buy one of each of the, the cheapy ones, and then. Um, a handful of shares of one of the, the team mining packages for Bitcoin and and just try my luck, see if I hit something. Right. And then let's go to the node side. There you can see eh, well, you can see some of the income for the month there, but um, as far as the still running the Flex Nimbus node, and I still have a total of three pre-search nodes. One is on a Raspberry Pi at home here, and then the other two are hosted on Rack Nerds, which I believe I might transfer them to node orbits once the Rackner's one expire and just keep them all in the same because I'm about 300 pre-search away uh, from getting being able to set up another node um, so as you can see these paths have been coming roughly about every 8, 9, 10 days of 100 so uh, I have like 65, 70 in there now towards the next 100 payout so uh, I'm gonna guess in about a month or so I'll probably be able to set up. So it might be, hopefully it'd be nice if it works out for the new year. I could get the new node up running right for the new year. Um, but we'll see how that goes though. Uh, but that will then, then I'll have a total of four of them running. Um, the uh, and pre pre-search did announce I guess it was back in August that they are reducing the node rewards, so that may s slow things down a little bit. But um, Anyway, that's neither here nor there for now. The right here you can see all the payouts as far as the nodes, uh, what what it was at the time, what the current value is, and total payouts in the month were forty two bucks, currently worth about forty nine. Here's the I nodes that we talked about earlier, and then Ergo made three DeFi claims in Ergo. Uh, most like since that was on the first, that most of that was accumulated in October. So, but just like I said, when they when I make the payout, that's when it hits my wallet, that's when I log it, so that's keep on doing the same thing. And then I'm probably getting close to another claim. Um, I guess it's maybe sometime over the weekend or Monday I'll be able to um, make another claim in four or five or go, whatever it's going to be. So then let's go back to I'll just do electricity here. Go over the power that I use for the month. Um, so my electric bill for the month was nine eleven eighty four, or not nine eleven eight eleven eighty four. I used fifteen thousand six hundred six kilowatts, um, which worked out to be about zero five point two cents per kilowatt. Um, which I'm still working out, um, figuring out what I'm going to do for uh, my electricity going forward since my unlimited limited plan expires on December fourteenth. So I got thirteen days left. Um, so I just got to use the hell out of it for those. 13 days and I'm either going to be switching to a fixed rate or variable rate play the game and maybe switch suppliers every month which is going to be a royal pain in the ass but if that's what I have to do to get the lowest rate I might have to do that because um, it doesn't seem like Expire, Inspire wants to offer the unlimited plan anymore but um, I still have to talk to a, talk to them and just to see what they can work out for me but the uh, 1660 Ti rig, this is the one has been mining the AXA, so that used 621 kilowatts for the month. Uh, a little bit less, a little bit down from October. This, my guess is because the temps were a little bit cooler, so the fans were running lower and less heat. The cars were running more efficiently. Then the 2070 rig, um, those are on Dynex. Um, part of that increase in power was it was on SRB miner before, so SRB miner was using less power. And more hash rate, but then we all know what happened with uh, SRV miner there. Uh, so I switched back to one zero miner. Um, so the uh, um, power usage has increased. 
then the 3070 ti's those are still on um solo mining lithium um, so that hasn't really changed a whole lot and then the mining sh shed at 12,902 uh, a little bit of an increase not as right around the peak summertime um, but there's also another ASIC there full-time uh, some of the stuff running on low power mode the upper control board so it wasn't really a drastic increase over October um, because some of the stuff is running a little bit more efficiently but as far as power wise it's probably not get the shed probably won't go much past this because it's gonna be that's that's maxed out it can't really go much higher than that maybe another 100 or 200 watts in the one breaker and that's that's it um, so as far as total kilowatt uses it's gonna be somewhere in this ballpark uh, but the electricity used for mining for the month was 749.51 and then hop over to income statement and uh, this should all be updated so yeah the mining income for the month was $1,922.11 um, node income for the month was $99.88 and the DeFi income was $1,519 electricity for the month was $749.51 for a total profit of $1,272.48 uh, so basically a five hundred dollar increase from the previous month, and I'd say the bulk of that is increase in prices plus um, the addition of the S nineteen K Pro, which I believe was added at the end of October, um, but so I had the full month of November to run. Um, so that what I think is the the main contributing factor to it. But if we go over here and you see as far as um, all the Income added up for the month, $2,037.19 before taxes, or before, not before taxes. Well, yeah, before taxes too, but um, before electricity, current value of all the coins that were mined, because um, pretty much I hold everything except for the Ergo. The Ergo I've been swapping to Neoxa. Um, so as I receive an Ergo payout, I've been swapping that to Neoxa, because uh, I pretty much have as much Ergo as I want for now. Um, if something changes, and maybe I'll start stacking more, but I have a decent sized bag of it that I'm happy where that's at. And uh, so for the time being, I'm just going to keep swapping the Ergo to uh, um, the AXA, which I can't really thought of. I may even switch that rig right over to uh, the AXA. Oh. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. I might look into that. I might just switch to that 36, the other 3060 Ti rig over to the outside and just have, an, have another rig on there. Uh, but anyway, capital gains is 434.75 for the month. So not bad. And uh, I really want to go back through, and it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to be tedious, but I do want to go back and update all the other previous months with the current value and stuff. I did some of it here. So I think on October, I do have it. So look at the difference here from October. Net worth amount was here, currently worth that. Net capital gains of 977. But I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't do the node side. I just I just did the mining side because um, all this would be worth more because flux increased in price, pre searches increased in price, um, ergos increased in price. You know. So I want to go back through and put the current value in at these columns and just so I can see what it's currently worth compared to what it was when I mined it and and I maybe even um, add that to the not really an income statement but maybe a, put a capital gains column here and just say hey this is the current value what, what all this stuff is worth just to get a little better picture but uh, that's going to take some time to go through all the spreadsheets and update everything but um, but yeah that's a pretty big difference just from uh, uh, what it was worth and what it's currently worth now. So, the uh, maybe we get some time off. I said, I check my phone was buzzing at me. Um, I'll, when I have more time, I'll be able to do it. But this has been a rough week at work. Um, probably have about 60 hours in already, and I actually finally got the day off, um, which I wasn't supposed to. But we actually it was able to work out that I worked it out that I got today off, which today is Friday, December 1st. Um, it's around one in the afternoon as of recording this, and uh, I actually I was outside. Well, if you've seen the intro, I was outside, so I just came in and started recording it. And because actually the house is a little chilly, I don't have the heat turned on yet, and uh, so it's just a couple rigs running. Uh, my 2070 rigs right there in the room behind me. Uh, that's heating the house. I gotta bring up the 3070 Ti rig and throw it over here. Get some heat, more heat going there. 
Uh, the mini doge, I might bring that inside and uh, put that in the bedroom or so just to let that produce some heat. So, winter's here. Um, time to use the miners for heat. So, I might be able to. I actually even thought about firing up another rig, but they still have the 5700 XTs and the 1660 Ti sitting there. But now I'm not going to spend all that time and effort just to fire them, just to build another rig and get it up and running, just to possibly have to shut it down if my electric rate gets to be too high. So we'll deal with that when the time comes. But um, for now, uh, we're just going to keep on keeping on. Uh, I'm going to keep mining as long as I can, as long as I can sustain it, basically. Uh, I got to figure out what my game plan is going to be for when my electric rate does increase in two weeks. Um, but that's really just going to be determined on what type of final rate that I can get negotiated. So I'm um, pretty sure some stuff is going to get turned off. Um, I'm not try not to turn everything off. I'm going to probably leave the Neoxa rigs on until um, I get what I need for the uh, master node. Maybe. I may tune them down a little bit to make the really try to get them as efficient as possible. Um, not sure. The little bit I messed with them before, the more power they use, the more efficient it is actually. So it might be one of those things that were you just damned if you do, damned if you don't. But, yeah, we'll see. But anyway, as far as the profitability for November goes, it was a pretty good month. Definitely can't complain. So um, hopefully December is just as good, if not better. Um, it'd be nice to get back to the Ethereum days, but hey, that's wishful thinking. So. But we'll be... Uh, We'll be back for another video of this at the end of December, and I'll be curious to see what rigs I leave on, what rigs I turn off. Um, just get to halfway through the month is when the electricity contract is going to flip, so it might be a little tricky as far as figuring out the bill and the electric rate for the month, just because the way my billing period ends is uh, the 15th, so it's like halfway, so it'll be half of the month on the $0.05 cent per kilowatt. The other half is going to be on what the new rate's going to be. Uh, so I might... Uh, do some more calculations just to figure it out as far as what it's going to be and it's probably going to be a pain in the ass but anyway until the next one we'll catch you later